Welcome to Total Network Inventory Tutorials and Examples. This video will show how to build and work with a network map. The purpose of this mode is to help you create a graphical representation of the network and show how the various devices are interconnected. Using the map, you'll be able to quickly find a device based on its location and perform actions on it. You may also notice which devices have gone offline while browsing the map. Let's run through the major elements of the network map module, from the top to the bottom. The control panel, the search bar, the sidebar, also known as the toolbar, the status bar, and of course, the main working area. Using the menu on the control panel, you can create a new map or load another one that was created earlier. Don't worry about switching between your maps. All the changes you make will be automatically saved. Feel free to open another map at any time. Navigation is an important component of map management. One way to navigate the map is by holding the right mouse button and dragging the map in any direction. Another option is to use keyboard arrow keys. Press and hold one of the arrows to move slowly. Or use the shift key in conjunction with arrow keys for a quadruple increase in the scrolling speed. If you need to return to the initial position, which is the center of the map, click the corresponding button on the control panel. The final method for scrolling the map is by using the special navigation bars that can be disabled in the program options. Just move the cursor over these bars and the map will start moving in the same direction. The left mouse button is the primary tool that will help you place objects on the map and draw links between them. The sidebar controls what kind of operations can currently be performed on the map using the left mouse button. At any point, you can also add devices to the network map by dragging them from the network tree, independent of what's selected on the sidebar. Let's improve the look of the map by adding new objects to it. First, let's create a new shape. You can use the toolbar to select a particular type of object, such as a rectangle, and change its style and other properties. But let's instead copy a shape from the map using the context menu. All the properties and parameters of the copied object will also be transferred to the new object, making the two identical to each other. Now let's add devices from our network tree as objects on the map. Select one device or a group of devices, and while holding the left mouse button, move them to the network map, and then rearrange them as you see fit. Just as in the case of shapes, the devices that are already present on the map can be multiplied, if necessary, by copying a repeat drag and drop from the network tree. Now let's take a look at the third type of objects that can be added to the network map. Links allow you to visually connect the devices on the map, accurately conveying the logical and physical structure of your network. Various style options for the links and the ability to add different labels will help not only show important information about your network, but also make the map more pleasing to the eye. Let's connect the devices in this section of the network map. To start, you need to set the desired properties for future links on the sidebar. Alternatively, you may repeat the style of one of the previously drawn link by selecting it on the map. Its properties will become current and will be applied to the links you now draw. Connecting the devices is done while holding down the left mouse button. We will connect the rest of the devices in this section in the same way. If you need to delete a connection, use the delete key on your keyboard. Or press the corresponding button on the toolbar. We'll use the various tools available on the sidebar to draw a different kind of link that will replace the one we just deleted. It's worth pointing out that managing links is possible only when the links mode is active on the toolbar. When the default mode for object selection is active, operations with links will not be possible. In the selection mode, you can select objects one by one or as a group. Now let's add a title to this selection of the map. To enter a title or comment, we must select the text option on the toolbar and then set an approximate area where we want our text to appear. 
Then go to the Toolbars text editor to select the font and color for the text and configure other available options. The text must be entered not in the main area of the map, but in the box in the toolbar. If you need to edit the title or comment, then switch to the selection mode to select the text object, and then go back to the sidebar to make the necessary changes. In this mode, the user can also select multiple objects on the map. This makes it possible to find objects that are empty or invisible, or were just created by mistake. Having added your network devices to the map, you'll always be up to speed on their current online status and how often they are available. Be able to perform any system action with the selected device using the action menu and much more. The actions that can be performed with devices on the network map are also available in the network tree. To discover more information about how to create and effectively manage your network maps, you can always visit our online documentation. Thank you for watching.